Hi guys, Larry from the Oregon Coast, September 7th, and I'm going to try to grow some strawberries for Christmas. Well, Brock from uh, my greenhouse project uh, channel, he started growing some strawberries a couple weeks ago in his NFT system, so uh, he's also going to try to get some winter strawberries, and then uh, Dale from Easy Grow It, he's going to try also to uh, get some winter strawberries grown, so figure out of three of us, one of us, uh, Hopefully you can get something going on here. So what I did two weeks ago, this is a, a, my one of my old uh, strawberry, strawberry beds, and I dug up uh, the strawberry plants. So I dug them up, shook the dirt off them, and I wrapped them up in plastic, and I put them in the refrigerator for a couple weeks. The reason why I did that, I was trying to um, get the strawberry plants to go dormant, so not sure if two weeks be long enough, but uh, I need to get this thing going if I want to try to get strawberries by Christmas. So it's September already. I figure uh, once the fall kicks in, uh, it's going to be really slow growing. Or, well, the reason why I'm using June bearing is uh, they're called a short day uh, variety. And basically, uh, they'll grow fruit when the um, day lengths are really short. So I haven't had any luck with the day neutrals in the greenhouse in the wintertime. So I've always wanted to try this, so I'm going to give this a shot. As you can see, I just wrapped them with uh, saran wrap, and uh, they look pretty good. I don't see any mold going on there, so mold's uh, the biggest concern I was worried about. Alright, thanks Pepper. Oh, <laughs> I just jinxed jinx myself. There is a little bit of mold growing on there, so that could be a problem. But, all right, I'm gonna get these things in, into their net cups and uh, see what we can do here. So what I did next, I got my reservoir going. I put my net cups in and I filled the water up to right around the bottom of the net cups. And I went ahead and added my, uh, my nutrient and I run strawberries no higher than 800 ppm. So I'll talk about my fertilizer, PMs, pH, and all that stuff on on next month's video. So what I do next is I, I cut off about two inches from the bottom of the roots. And I'm not sure why it works, but it actually helps get the roots started uh, a lot quicker. So that's something to think about. All right, well, that's what it looks like. I'm using a combination of a lava rock and hydrotin little clay balls for my medium. Keep the okay. crown up a little bit higher than the one okay. I got now. Okay, baby, you can help. All right, got the air stones pumping in. I'm just using a six inch air stone. And also another little, uh, little guy here, probably three quarter, maybe one inch air stone. All right, got my tote all set up. I got 12 of these bad boys. And when I first started, it was a, Nice and foggy, and now the sun's blasting out, so hopefully the sun doesn't fry these bad boys. And I know I left a lot of information out, so uh, my next month video, I'll explain a lot more about what I'm doing, container size, and all that kind of stuff. So if you get a chance, check out Brock's video. I'll put a link there at the end of the video. And it's a Mike Greenhouse project. He has a rail system with some winter strawberries growing on. And as soon as Dale gets his uh, strawberries growing, I'll put a link to his video. So. Alright guys, take care and have a good one.